Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, not really ready for the day. I've got my kids on the bus. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share with you guys a really small bathing garden haul. I made this because my friend Grace on Instagram uh, loves her, the bathing gardens um, circus line. And she puts it out every year. I went on and I looked at just a couple things that were left um, and just grabbed four of her gorgeous clamshells and one of her super cute, beautiful dipped apples. And then she also sent three samples. So this is super small, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, the one release that I'm really looking forward to, I think is her summer one. Um, cause I really want her like margarita blend. It's like the fizzy mermaid scent. I can't remember what it's called. And then, um, the take me to the sea. So when those ones come out, I will be purchasing those but I just grabbed a couple of these. One of the clams I cannot find the scent description for, so I'm just gonna tell you what it smells like. Um, one of the cool things about this company is I live in Utah and this company's out of Idaho, so I get the shipping kind of quickly, which happens with almost no vendors because it seems like almost every big vendor, wax vendor is in the South or the, the Eastern part of the United States. Um, except for obviously like L3, Salt Mountain, and then the Bathing Garden. Everybody else is so far away from me. So it's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> so I, I think the thing that the Bathing Garden is most known for is that their wax or her wax is just art. Like it's straight up art. Um, each of these, and it's crazy because the cost, so each of these clamshells is $3.95. Um, does it say how many ounces it is? It's on the website, but they're just, they're kind of regular shape or regular sized clams, but for how much work looks like it goes into it, $3.95 is really good. So let's just, let's do the samples first. And she sent three samples. Her little, her, um, labels are so cute. This first one is Berry Gummy Bear. And I couldn't find notes for the samples either. Um, she only has sent descriptions for, it says recent releases. So I don't know. Um, and it's this adorable little mini, mini bunt. And this truly, I mean, there is, this truly smells like a gummy. There is like a gelatin gummy note. This is so good. Um, I mean, I don't know if I would want my house to smell like this all the time, but it smells exactly like the name says berry it almost smells like a berry peach gummy ring is what that smells like to me so very nice um the next one is this really cute little like bunny peeps shape and it's called marshmallow peep cookies whoa <laughs> that is rich look at how pretty like all those different sequins and glitters on there that is very thick marshmallow i mean your house is gonna smell like marshmallows that's it's not just like a lot of marshmallow notes is just makes things creamier or like sweeter. There is like an absolute marshmallow here. Oh, that's very creamy. Very good. I don't know about the cookie note. It might be in there, but that is like a dominant marshmallow that smells so freaking good. I like that one a lot. It's very sweet. Then the last sample here is sunshine and rainbows. And it's also in a little bunch, but it's shaped a little bit different than the other one. But it has, oh, I love those like neon sequins. I love neon stuff. Okay, that's very floral. Like daffodil. It's floral. Um, it's not a bad, like I don't immediately smell it and say, ooh. But I also don't smell it and love it like some spring florals but it's very floral. I don't smell like sweetness to it. I don't really smell fruits in it. It just smells floral, but not roses. Um, maybe sunflowery kind of scent. Okay. I'm going to do my dipped apple first. So this one's called boardwalk candy apple and it's so freaking adorable. Let me take it out of the package. The notes in this one are crisp green apples dipped in fudgy vanilla marshmallow. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I don't want to melt it because it's so cute. Mmm, goodness, that's good. 
So there was a couple different scents of these dipped apples, but I liked that this one was just vanilla marshmallow. And I definitely get that crisp green apple. And just, there is a vanilla sweetness, creaminess to it. But that crisp green apple comes out so well. I really like that. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. How am I going to melt it? Oh, it smells so realistic. The other thing I will say about the bathing garden, her stuff is not that I've melted so far. I look at my fingers from holding that candy apple. Um, it's not super strong. There's only a couple melts that I've had from her that were even moderate throws, um, which was take me to the sea. This gosh, it's like this super fizzy mermaid margarita. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then there was one other one. All the other melts I've had from her have been light to moderate. So if you're someone, and a lot of people are looking for that. Not everyone wants throw you out of the house scent. If you're looking for lighter throws and beautiful wax, the bathing garden is for you. Um, stuff that won't give you a headache or anything. Okay, so my four clamshells. My first one is the cloud maze. And this is candy, marshmallow clouds, and lavender cotton candy. So this is what the clamshell looks like. I'm going to open it because this is kind of where the art is. Little clouds. Little like blue iridescent little cloud sequins, stars, and this is beautiful. So once again, candy marshmallow clouds and lavender cotton candy. The So to me, this smells like the oil, the lavender mallow oil, like the Bath and Body Works type. It's that, to me, very herbal, like light, fl light fluffy lavender with that not super sweet mallow, and then it's mixed with marshmallows. So if you're a fan of like that lavender marshmallow candle or scent from Bath and Body Works, this smells really similar to that. And I really like it. I'm going to, it smell like I can smell the scent, but I am going to let it cure for a while. Some people do say they have a much better, um, throw with the bathing garden when they let it cure for a while. So I'm going to give it its best chance. This next one is called sugared vanilla waffle cone. And when I opened my since my order was kind of small, it was just in a um, big envelope. When I opened it, this is the one I smelled. Uh, this is cookie wafers, vanilla ice cream, and vanilla bean marshmallow. And look at how freaking adorable. I mean, like, little kid dreams, right? And it's very waffle cone-y, <laughs> very much. That vanilla ice cream in it is very present. And so are the cookie wafers. This one's going to be just like a very creamy, super vanilla waffle cone scent. Yeah, like when I'm, when I'm craving something super sweet, I'm going to have so much fun melting that. It's so cute too. Okay, and then this next one up is called Circus Bread. And it's yeasty, fruitcake, strawberry, and vanilla. And this is... <laughs> like a circus explosion happening. And it smells just like that. A very yeasty bread with a very good strawberry. Come on, come out. Ah, I'm losing some of the pretties. Yeah, a very good bread. Oh gosh, the strawberry is really good on that. Yeah. And vanilla just kind of ties it together, but... To me, it smells like a very strawberry jammy strawberry. Yeah, that's so yeah, very like bread with strawberry jam is what that one smells like. So circus bread. And then this last one was actually the very first clam that I picked out on the website and I cannot find it. It must have sold out because I can't find it anywhere and I also can't find it in the scent descriptions. But it's I'm sure this has like a relevance to some show or something, but it's called Inclement Weather Party. Anyone? So it's, I don't know if it's light purple or light gray. And then look how cute. Look at these little umbrella sequins. Oh my freaking goodness. So this one, I think I swore, it, or I remember it saying that it had lavender in it, but I could be wrong. But I think it has lilac in it. It's very like, it smells really good. Um, First of all, it smells really good. It's very much like a spring day, but a cloudy spring day where all the really like delicate spring florals are out. 
Mm, gosh, it's, I just, I just have been loving florals so much lately. Like, especially the delicate spring florals. It smells like it has like the raindrops oil in it and like a lilac maybe. Yeah, just like dewy, green, delicate florals in there, but it smells very strong already. So really pretty clamshell. And that's it. That was my very small bathing garden haul that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I love her wax. I just don't get it a lot because it's not super strong. They're not super strong throwers for me, but I do love her company. I love the look of her wax. Her blends can be very unique. Um, so I do like her stuff. I just don't order it a ton. So anyways, I have one more small haul to share with you guys today from another vendor. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you soon. Bye.